The next film, where on Letterboxd, amongst the recent reviews, there is one by Jessica Valen that says, I just think this movie is beautiful from the sets to the props to the love story. I just adore this movie. It was also the first film I watched for TST movie night. So it holds a very dear place in my heart. Aww. And that one is The Abominable Dr. Fives from 1971. Dr. Fives, who samples the finer things of life in his own inimitable way and experiments with fascinating instruments of death. The what, sir? The guitar. The ten curses visited upon the pharaohs before Exodus. Nine shall die. Nine eternities in doom. The curse of boils, of bats. Frogs? Of frogs, yes. And the curse of blood. Of hail in the bloody middle of nowhere. Are you ready for Dr. Five? And Aww. this one, a longtime favorite of mine since well before I was running movie nights. And in fact, it was one of the first movies I played for movie night. So I think a lot of people might not have remembered it. They may have been seeing it for the first time last night. And also insofar as basic level TST3K goes, a... Uh, a movie of this caliber from a uh, previous decade is 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 easily palatable you know there's there's not much uh there's not much to associate it with uh a lot of the low budget disasters we watch yeah uh, it is except it's, better than this. <laughs> yeah it, it's it's relative obscurity is more due to age and it just seems kind of a a weird uh a weird throwback now but I, I think in its time you know it was just a normal a normal film it I, I'm not I'm not sure how well it was critically received but I don't think it was critically panned in the uh second movie Dr. Fives Rises Again was maybe a better film even than the abominable Dr. Fives it was certainly no worse I might prefer it because I I really liked the ending of the second one but in 1971 to have a sequel that debatably exceeds the original when the original was good is a very rare thing maybe not maybe not as much for a british film which this apparently was everybody was british it seemed but uh except for vincent price but you know the philosophy back then was that you're only going to capture some percentage of the market that liked the first film let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat 